Okay, take... I uh, lost count. Ah, previous times were out of sync or I was interrupted. Hopefully this will stay in sync and everything. Um, oh, you're not supposed to hear this. Hello everyone, this is Unblender Dude. Uh, weekly update. So it's supposed to be at least. It was on Friday, but that one got out of sync. Anyways, you can see from the background, I tried to make that. But I have failed. First thing you'll notice is no sprinkles. Uh, the reason for that is... Uh, the sprinkles, the way you're supposed to do it in cycles, did not work out for me. It made the icing disappear, the frosting. So I had to improvise, because there was no way around it. It was the cycle spell that I had. Secondly, this is way, way too thin to be a donut. Again, that's fault of the cycle spill that I had. It didn't have the option in which you're supposed to make the donut. Uh, third thing I noticed just now is I was a little too lazy in the placement. That was my fault. But yes, that's it. I actually did it. I actually found it a lot simpler than I thought. The plates are just circles that have been extruded. I found that out of after a bit of guesswork. And the bowl over there in the background is just a UV spear cut in half. The spoon, that's too blurry for you to see because of the defocus thing I had on it. It's a cube. That was probably the hardest thing to model out of all of these. But yes, the link in the description shall be for there for Enterprise's tutorial. He explains to you the difference between the Blender render and Cyclo... Where is it? Blender render and Cycles. The difference is actually quite phenomenal. He also explains around the 17th minute how you can create the donut in under 10 seconds. I thought, oh cool, I can learn how to make a good looking donut in under 10 seconds. This will be done in no time. However, if you if you can hear and listen. How you can create a donut. First you add a torus, you then use the fluid simulator to drop another torus on top of that to create the icing. Then you model around about six sprinkles, you would give them different colors, and then use the particle system to distribute that over the top of the icing. Very, very simple, very easy, and there you go. You have your... Okay, I don't know about you, but throughout the whole thing I was like, wait, slow down! And I know there's at least one other person who said the same thing. So that's what this tutorial is for, because I was stuck on it for quite a bit. Uh, I would be recording this from a desktop, however, my desktop kind of refused to work with all the recorders that I had. Well, all the good ones. So, that's why I'm doing this from my laptop. Anyway, open the official Blender build, since the build of cycles that I had didn't work, unless the cycles build that you have works with this. But, uh, anyway, you can delete this. You can either press space and type it out, add Taurus, like I like to do, or you can press shift A, like others like to do, and go over here, select Taurus. Whatever, whatever works. But anyway, this is one of the options that was not in cycles. The option to do that, which would actually make this look more like a donut. This is a donut, ladies and gentlemen. Especially after hit shading smooth. That is a donut. That's a donut. In fact, it's so good a donut, why don't we make this? Yes. Anyway, press Shift D, then hit Z to bring it up on the Z axis. Scale it down with S. And scale it down on Z-axis with S and then Z. Do that again. I'll say that's fine enough. Again, don't want to take too much time. Previous attempts were out of sync, so let's hope this remains in sync. Next part is to add a cube and scale it up so that both of them are inside. Press Z to go into wireframe mode. I'm sorry if I'm explaining things too fast to you. Again, I don't want to waste too much time on this. I have done this too many times already. Anyway, they're both clearly in there, so... Select the main donut. We can go ahead and go over here and name, rena rename this to Donut. Dronut. How about I name this guy Bronut? It came from the main donut. It's a Bronut. Anyway, select this. Make it fluid. Physics. Fluid. 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 And this will be the obstacle. That way the fluid doesn't just randomly flow through it. And this is, of course, our domain, so that it can say, okay, I'm going to calculate all of this within there. Hey, look, it remembers take, I don't know how many, that's cool. But anyway, new take, 
new domain world. If you were looking at the tutorial, which will be in the description in full screen in HD, you would see that he has over here honey, and this set down to point two. That's pretty much all I got. Uh, but those settings are so that it flows like icing rather than uh, water or anything else. Normally, you'd want to go into edit mode by pressing tab and then hit W and select subdivide smooth so that the icing actually looks better. However, for time and resource sakes, I will not do that. Instead, I will just select the cube and hit bake. It will now calculate and make the fluid simulator. <sighs> so how's your day, Ben? That's okay, take your time. Oh really, mine's been kinda... Two. Boy, I hope the sound stays in sync. Uh, let's press Z to see how this looks so far. That's actually pretty good. However, we do want to go over here and select Shading Smooth. So that it looks even better. Looks better. Almost done. At least to a desirable... Or a good looking result. Result that will work for us. It may be a little too close to the edge, I don't know. You may want to make the domain bigger. I saw a few tutorials already on how to make a donut with icing on YouTube, however, those tutorials were going about it the long, tedious way, and that was they made a torus, then basically cut it in half, extruded that half, and then uh, used sculpting mode in order to sculpt it down. Not only is that long and tedious to do, it's the hard way around and doesn't look quite as good. Yeah, it's pressed up against the cube. That's my fault, however, you get the general point, and I'll say that looks fine enough, so press escape so that it will stop calculating the fluid already. So now we got to figure out how to remove this guy up there, how to remove the actual fluid animation, how to remove the puddle so that it won't appear in the render, and how to edit it, because when you try it, it just goes to a cube. I spent long and hard trying to figure this out, Long and hard time, long hard work, take luck. I uh, finally figured it out. You go over to Object Modifier Panel and hit Apply. That's actually it. You can now go into Tab Mode, press Z, press B in order to select all of these by clicking and dragging, and delete those. Voila. We no longer need you, so we can delete you. We can go all the way back to the first frame. And it will stay like that for pretty much forever. We no longer need you to be part of a fluid system. Again, when you do this, you want to make the cube bigger and you want to subdivide the icing. But that looks pretty good. Good enough for this tutorial. Next step is to go into weight paint and weight paint all you want. The more you do, the more ice sprinkles are going to be there. I'll say that's fine enough. Don't want to do too much. Do you get the general gist of it? I hope yes. Okay, so we go into the next layer. Let's go ahead and add a cylinder. Scale it down. This will be our sprinkle. For time and resource sakes, I'm just going to multiply by 2. I will make you good old purple and make you a nice green alright fine and dandy I'll set you both to smooth shading I'm not going to go into too much detail as to how to edit these you can select them press tab Z to show all the vertices 
select as many as you want, either one by one by right clicking, if you want to do particular ones, or select them all with B and click and drag, E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, G to grab, etc. I'm not going to do all that much too much, but anyway, once you're done, you probably want to do about six of four, four, five, six, and then have them all different colors, but anyway, once you're done, select them all by pressing shift or right click on all of them, then press control G. This will make them all a group. So then, you go back to your donut. Hello, beautiful. Select the icing. Make sure it's the icing, especially if you renamed it to icing. Go into particle settings, make a new one, and rather than emitter, because that won't work properly, let's make it hair. Yeah, I'm a hairy donut. But anyway. We can scale down and up the hair going over here. But let's make this group first. And remember that group of sprinkles we just made? Ta-da! Scale this down a bit. Let's change the random size. That way they look randomized. Then we go over to vertex groups. Change the density over to group. And now we can go down the line one by one if we wanted. But they're all going in accordance to the weight paint. As you can see, more I weight paint here, more sprinkles are going to appear there. That's it. That's the tutorial. That is how Andrew Price does it. Again, I'm not responsible for this stroke of genius. Andrew Price is, please go over there and subscribe to his email list or to his YouTube channel or Vimeo channel or whatever. Because he truly has quite awesome tutorials. I'm not going to go into coloring this now. You just basically get how to model this donut in more detail than Andrew Price goes into. Nothing against him, he likes to keep his tutorials short, like I like to keep my videos short. So then, we are done. I have no longer need for you. Again, link shall be in the description for his tutorial. If you got stuck there, that's what this tutorial is for. I shall see you next week, next video. Until then, uh... Laters trying to think of a different language.